Hey, what's up, everybody? Hammer Heart Metal Reviews here once again, doing another discography countdown on one of my favorite bands. Today, I'm kind of doing a double video, so I'm going to be talking about the Mighty Emperor, a symphonic black metal legends from Norway, one of the first in the Norwegian black metal scene, really had their own sound. Since they only have four studio albums, I am going to be ranking those from my least favorite to my favorite. But a little bonus thrown in here, I'm also going to be ranking my 10 favorite Emperor songs. So I'm going to start with the songs and I'll do the albums after. And let's just get right into it. Coming in at number 10 for my 10th favorite Emperor song is the Acclamation of Bonds. This is from the Anthems to the Welkin at Dusk album. Just absolutely killer track. This whole album is insane. But yeah, this is a really fucking killer song on here. Great riffs, great vocals, just great atmosphere all around. I mean, coming up with my top 10 here was very difficult. I had to leave some really killer songs off here, but this one just snuck in there. It was close. There was a couple others that I really wanted to put here, but I threw this one on there instead. And yeah, so just if you see some songs missing from here that you absolutely love, try to make this list yourself also. It's really tough. They have so many good things. But yeah, throw some comments down below of songs that you think I should have on here also. But I'm getting off track here. Let's just keep this list moving into number nine. I've got Curse You All Men. This is the opening track from the IX Equilibrium album. And yeah, great opening track. This isn't my favorite album by them, which you'll find out after. But this song is pretty fucking killer. And I felt like it deserved a spot in my top ten because it is a really solid song. Up next at number eight is Cosmic Keys to My Creations and Times. This is off the Night in the Nightside Eclipse album. And yeah, this is just fucking killer, killer stuff. The atmospheres on this album and this song in particular, just absolutely killer with the keyboards. Like Emperor just knows how to mix the sound. Like maybe they inspired a lot of other symphonic black metal like Demu and Cradle and stuff like that. But those bands just didn't do it quite at the same level of excellence that Emperor did. Em Emperor did. Emperor really knew how to balance the keyboards with the riffs and not overpower you with symphonics. And this song is just a perfect example of that. It's really got some heavy, deep atmospheres in here, very dark stuff, but absolutely killer black metal. And that's why this song's on here. Up next at number seven, sticking on the same album, I've got Towards the Pantheon. Another just great song. I mean, all these songs are fucking great, but I absolutely love the riff in here and a great fucking scream as well. Ishan's vocals on this are just insane. Absolutely love this album and love that song. Up next at number six, going back to the Anthems album, I've got Thus Spake the Night Spirit. One of my favorites from the album for sure. Just absolutely killer, killer stuff. I'm going to be using these same words over and over again. But yeah, just absolutely awesome. And that's why I almost made the top five, but it's coming in number six. And now let's get into that top five. Um, number five, back to In the Nightside Eclipse, we've got Beyond the Great Vast Forest. Another just epic fucking song. Needed to be high on my list. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite Emperor songs ever, as you can see from the high placement. And yeah, that's why it's there. Let's just move this right along to number four, back to the Anthems album with With Strength I Burn. I absolutely love this one too. It's more of an epic long song, kind of goes some different directions. There's some clean singing in there. And like, he's got such a unique clean singing voice. Kind of did too much of it later on, but on these first couple albums, it's just sparse here and there. And I absolutely love it on this song. It sounds so fucking good. And I just love the way this song, the direction it goes takes you a lot of fucking different places and it's absolutely amazing coming into now the top three and this is where it got really tough because these are easily my three favorite emperor songs but the order of them could be switched but let's just go for it number three is the opening track off in the nightside eclipse that's into the infinity of thoughts i just love the atmosphere on this song the way it just starts kind of with like some background noise like the first time I heard this it just blew me away. I'm like, what am I even fucking listening to right now? And then it just cues in with that riff and the scream. And you're like, whoa, okay, I get it. This is fucking intense black metal. So goddamn good. It was hard not even putting this higher than three. But the next two songs are absolutely killer too. Now let's see what those are. Coming up next at number two, back to the Anthems album, is The Loss and Curse of Reverence. Absolutely love the riff in this song. So amazing. They have a music video for this one, which is really killer. 
It's just a fucking amazing song. I can listen to this all fucking day and never gets old. Just so fucking good. This is one of their more well-known songs. And that's for a reason. It's just fucking excellent. And that just leaves one more, one more song to rule them all. And that is I Am The Black Wizards off in the Night Side Eclipse. Easily, well maybe not easily, but yeah, I'll say easily my favorite Emperor song. It's just always been one I go back to. Just so fucking epic. The opening riff is so good. And then the like outro part of the song where it like really slows down. Nice melodic riff and he's just screaming, I am them over and over again. Fuck, the lyrics on here are just amazing. Basically saying that, that he has all these fucking evil wizards working for him as being the mighty emperor, but then he is actually the black wizards because he controls them all and they do his evil spells for him. It's just fucking epic stuff, stuff of legends. Emperor is fucking amazing. One of my favorite black metal bands for a reason. And anyways, that was my top 10 songs. Now let's get into the album rankings. Coming in at number four, which if you know Emperor albums, you're probably gonna guess this because there was not a single song in my top 10 from this album. But it's their last album, Prometheus, The Discipline of Fire and Demise. This is from 2001. It was their last album. This is the only one I don't really like that much. It's still decent. It is not a terrible album by any stretch. Like, I'd probably still give it a 6 out of 10. It just almost has, like, too much experimentation for its own good. They really tried some different stuff here. You can kind of see why this was their last album and they needed to go do different things because they kind of run the well dry maybe on Emperor a little bit and Ishan wanted to do some more experimental stuff and I really like some of his solo stuff too you can kind of start hearing those kind of ideas develop on this album but yeah like I said it's not terrible there's still some good songs the eruption is good thorns on my grave it's just easily my least favorite Emperor album that's why it's coming at number four up next at number three is IX Equilibrium that's from 1999. This was their third album. Definitely doesn't live up to the standard of the first two, but it's still pretty decent. Like, I would probably give it 7.5 or 8 out of 10. Like, it's still a killer fucking album. Uh, Curse You All Man, I mentioned that song before. That was in my top 10. That's my favorite song on the album, but there's also some other good ones on here. An Elegy of Icaros has some really cool, clean singing parts in there. The Warriors of Modern Death kind of has an old Bathory feel to it. Still overall pretty decent album, but that just leaves two, and this is where I've really struggled because I absolutely love their first two albums to bits. A couple of the best black metal albums ever. They're both 10 out of 10s, so which one's better? I don't know. I lean one way a little bit, so I'm going to go with that. At number two, I've got In the Night Side Eclipse. That's the debut from 1994. Absolutely killer from start to finish. Just an amazing piece of black metal. Like, it's a landmark album for a reason. One of the most important black metal albums ever. It's like, one of the most influential from the second wave. Just absolutely killer. I mentioned so many songs before. I won't go through them all again because I don't want to bore you by talking about all the same things. But basically, all the fucking songs on this album are great. Uh, I didn't include Inno on Satana in my top 10. That was one that was like so fucking close as I love that song too. That one would have been like 11th, but I could have easily swapped that with number 10. Just absolutely killer stuff. And that's why it's one of my favorite albums. And that just leaves one. My favorite Emperor album is Anthems to the Well Connect Dusk. Like I said, I could easily swap this and In the Night Side Eclipse. They're both absolutely amazing, but I tend to lean more towards Anthems. If I had to pick one, I just find it a little more epic. It's a little more technical. The riff writing got a little bit better. The songs are maybe a bit catchier and like more progressed, but that's not taking anything away from the Nightside Eclipse because that one is fucking amazing too. But yeah, Anthems, just absolutely amazing album. Now if I have to pick one, which is the point of these lists, I'm gonna go with that one. Anyways, let me know down below what your favorite Emperor album is. What's your least favorite? What's your favorite Emperor songs? Love to hear your opinions. Anyways, until next time, Hammerheart Metal Reviews out.